Hey folks, we are in Arkansas, you know, one of the states of the United States, and um, we're climbing today in a place called Sam's Throne. Sam's Throne is actually there. We climbed on it most of the day. Now we're on a different cliff. Um, you see the cliff behind us? It's also, of course, under me. I'm almost up there right now. Um, and uh, the guy who actually did the climbing here is Paul. This is Paul. Hey, Paul. Um, and, um, well, what we can, uh, there's a few cool things we can see here, which is why I stopped. Um, one, we can see that this hard layer that, that I'm on, that I'm climbing, that is also here in the back, that that layer is also, let me see where my finger goes here, also all the way over here in the back. And so, in fact, it's also around the corner again. And so that heart layer that apparently resists weathering quite well, that resists erosion quite well, therefore, as well, um, is persistent throughout the landscape and it's kind of horizontally uh, layered. From that, you should already think, hey, sedimentary rock, right? Um, and you would be completely correct. Um, let me prove it to you. I'm going to turn you around for a sec, if I can. And um, I hope you can see in my shaking hands from climbing, but you can see the individual sand grains like this one, for instance, on this rock, um, which prove that uh, we're looking at a sandstone. And of course, a sandstone is a sedimentary stone. Um, what we also see from a view like that is the different colors of the mosses that are growing uh, on uh, the rock. The orange one I know the name of, not the yellow one. The orange one is called Rhizoplankton geographicum and has the, the nice property from our perspective that um, it grows relatively predictably over time. So if you have a nice round patch, which we didn't just see, but they exist, then um, you can use the size of that round patch as, a, as an indicator for how long that surface of the rock has been exposed. In this case, um, this rock has been exposed not for terribly long. Um, how do I know? Well, look behind me or under me. You see that big block lying there? That is, you know, in, ge ge in geological terms, relatively recently fallen down. And also uh, another indicator of that fact is if you look really nicely along the wall, with me along this wall that I'm, I'm standing on. You might see my shoes right now. Um, you see, it's actually a flat surface still with a few holes in it. In fact, with a lot of holes in it, it was really helpful when we climbed. Um, and those holes, or the fact that you still see the, the, the original layer tells me it's not terribly old, not terribly long ago that this um, face was, was originally exposed. Um, if you look over there, you can see that from, from a different angle. Um, we see that, that cliff over there. Um, it has all sorts of cracks in it, but you can still see its original shape. In other words, it hasn't terribly long been exposed, and it's also not been terribly long since the block that was covering it uh, broke away. Um, so what else can we see here? Uh, we're almost at the top of the landscape. Um, this, this line that we were looking at earlier as well, this line of rocks that I'm on, um, is almost the highest part of this landscape. It helps. Often the hardest parts are so resistant to erosion that by themselves, ultimately they become uh, the highest parts of the landscape. Everything softer above them has been eroded away. Uh, and in this case, in the Arkansas landscape, a lot of the stuff that is under this hard layer uh, also has been eroded away by rivers that are trying to incise um, to their base level. And their base level uh, ultimately here is the Mississippi River and, and from there on even the Gulf of Mexico. Um, so all of that from uh, a cool climbing trip in uh, Arkansas. Bye-bye.